Praise the Lord, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Minister Paul and my beautiful wife, Gail. Yes, good morning. And uh, I'm in Northern California, and welcome to September. It is September 1st, 2017, and it's 6.22 a.m., and I'm out here in Northern California. We continue on with the rapid fulfillment of prophecy and I have something to show you this morning it's amazing and I want to go right into it the date was October 17 2012 and I had this dream that was so profound I actually turned it into a playlist and two other pastors here locally um, gave interpretation for it and I've always wondered what this dream was about and just this morning the Holy Spirit has, is showing me a, a greater understanding and I believe he's showing all of us a greater understanding of his wisdom knowledge and, and, and revelation of things to come that much of this was symbolic in 2012 so so let me let me uh, set this up a little bit here so in this in this in this dream and you're looking at a video of it right here I'm working with the local pastor here pastor Larry this was five years ago and I'm working in a Chinese consulate in Chicago and Pastor Larry is working on the inside of the consulate and I am posted on the outside of the consulate on a patio overlooking the city outside like a watchman so we're gonna do some uh, explanation here and I have inst I don't have a cell phone I don't have a laptop I don't have a tablet I don't have any electronic devices I have a, a pencil and a pad of paper and my job is to notate uh, you know radiation in the air there, there was three things that I was uh, I was to monitor and I always wondered why it was on pencil and paper and this morning the Holy Spirit told me it's because there was no power so again I am I'm a watchman in a Chinese consulate and the church so to speak is is behind me inside this building in Chicago and this big huge weather satellite made of gold comes out right when an earthquake hits the power goes dark and this this uh, this a jet and a bomber and I'm gonna play part of this a fighter jet and a bomber both they come out of the sky right at the time of the power outage and the earthquake and I, and I start uh, logging radiation because I think a nuclear event had happened and, um, and out of this big huge cloud I'll show you on the video out of this big huge storm cloud comes this golden satellite and the Holy Spirit has led me to know that the, the bomber and the, the, the fighter jet represented war and the, the satellite represented manipulated weather. And so then what happens is I run inside the church off of the, the ledge in the Chinese consulate and I warn Pastor Larry of what's going on and there's a woman in there and she tells me, get back outside and do your job. And I discerned that she was Jezebel in the church. This was five years ago, so let, let's let's fat. That's the dream. Let's fast forward to today. I'm gonna play a short clip of this. Now, in this clip, I'm explaining that I an earthquake in real life. Now, okay, we're off the dream and on real life. In real life, an earthquake had hit like 40 minutes from us, and and what I had done was I'd put in the coordinates. See where it says Alta Sierra, California. I put in the coordinates that I found for Alta Sierra, California, and um, it led me, you're not going to believe this, it led me to North Korea. 
This is in real life, and I'm showing this, and I'm going to play it. Five years ago, so many people got North Korea five years ago. Well, it was for right now. I'm telling you, I'm not the only one. There's many people. Pastor Patrick, one off the top of my head. Um, so let's play this video. So I just rewind if you didn't understand what I said. I put in the coordinates in real life after having that dream. And it, and it doesn't take me to Alta Sierra like it's supposed to. It takes me to North Korea, South Korea, and Japan, and China. And I even mention it. And the map is the same map I'm looking at today from five years ago. Listen. You know, where my nephew lives and my wife's dad, where she grew up her whole life, actually. I ran these coordinates. But I ran them without the N and W. I ran them in Google Earth. Everybody see that? Boom. And this is where it took me to, this area. And since that dream yeah. already, this area down here has been hit with an earthquake already. Part of it, it's already coming true. Um, so God said to watch North Korea, South Korea, Japan, and China in this whole area. So Did you catch that? God said five years ago to watch North Korea... South Korea, Japan, and China. And you see this area right here. I probably pronounce it wrong. It's called Hokkido. Hokkido. This map right here God showed me five years ago involving a, a dream from five years ago about a bomber and a jet. And God told me to watch this area. This area right here, Hokkido, this is the trajectory that the, the latest missile took that went up and over Japan, it went right over this exact area on this map from five years ago involving an earthquake. Now tie in that dream about the fighter jet, the weather manipulation, Hurricane Harvey, and now Irma. And, and if you have eyes to see and ears to hear, you're going to see what the, the Lord was showing us. Again, the message being the, the coming war. And so I'll show you a picture of the satellite. I think I went forward. Yeah, here it is right here. Here's the satellite. This comes out of this big sky while I'm working at a consulate. And it's, it's, it's manipulating weather. The power goes out. I can't stress this enough how serious this is. I'm telling you, I am warning people in advance. Amos 3.7. Do not fall asleep right now, please. I mean, God drew a map of a lightning bolt right to the exact area Harvey hit. Is Sometimes I feel like Noah's listed. And this is all some type of game. Or this is not a game. This is life or death. The satellite comes out of the sky. The power goes out. And it's being escorted by a fighter jet and a bomber. I even mentioned that somewhere in here. This video is too long for me to play the whole thing. So so here I'm showing where I'm working at the consulate. See see how there's like balconies and stuff and there's there's all these roads. I'm living on a patio in the Chinese consulate and I have in front of me a Geiger counter to test radiation. And I have a thing that can detect particle matter in the air that doesn't belong. And I have um, a, an earthquake thing that can detect earthquakes and a computer. And what's odd about my dream is instead of having all this printed out and sent via server or all our technology, texting or smartphones, I'm, I have a, a, a pen and scratch paper. All my data has to go on scratch paper. It's the most bizarre thing, okay? I'm just kind of showing you how they have like patios outside and a little bit of the area. Uh, I've never been here. I've actually never been here, but this is what I'd have seen if I'd have looked out Look my right window. here. Well, I just noticed it says Consulate General of the People's Republic of China in Chicago. And we're going to talk, and it's a 361. I've never seen this before. It's a 37. And you're gonna, I'm going to show a cloud where the fighter jet and bomber comes out of. And remember, this was uh, from five years ago. And if you rewind back a little bit, it said near north. 
I believe that's very critical, so let's go. Uh, anyway, this big cloud, matter of fact, look at the clouds. This big cloud, storm cloud, just like this appears up, and it's pure black. And immediately out of this cloud, the first thing that comes floating out of this cloud, it causes an earthquake. Now, watch, my browser's going to lock up. It always does this. Uh, this is just common. My internet will go down when I try to do these streams. Just This comes out of the cloud. Just bear with it. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. This comes floating out of the cloud and it causes an earthquake. This sends a signal down. Follow me. And then the other thing that comes out of it looks... I, I can't even describe it. There is a bomber and I want to say like an F-16 jet. They're flanking these two satellite type things that are coming two out of satellites. the sky. There was two satellites. Okay, Jesus. Uh, praise God it says short version, amen. Because this... <laughs> amen, because uh, this is my short version of the dream. Like I said, I'll put a link to the entire playlist and you could totally analyze this dream all you want. But I got to move on. Just want to show you the date. 720 views published on October 17, 2012. Now, let's fast forward to the revelation I've received today. I saw, matter of fact, I have a picture of it in my cell phone. So I'm going to edit in a, a picture of this at the end of the video or, and at the beginning or something. And it's going to show this consul this Russia consulate in San Francisco and the and its flag is at half mass. So it won't show this on Google Earth, but the picture I took from the news story yesterday will show the flag at half mass. And um that's very important because of a vision I had about certain nations and their flags were at half mass. This was one of them, Russia. Now, so this is the Russia. I'm simply mind blown. Please bear with me. The coordinates are three seven four seven four two eighteen. I'm gonna see this right here. Is everybody that you'll only you'll only be able to follow this if you follow this channel. But this is Presidio Avenue. We were just talking about Presidio Avenue, and. Um, and Chrissy Field, where they were going to have the peace rally and it got canceled from too many threats of violence. This is the. This, this is that. I don't know how else to explain it. It popped up on the news yesterday. Flags at half mass. I take a picture of it because, uh, you know, the Holy Spirit unctions me and reminds me of the past prophecies. And I put it in Google Earth and it brings up not only this consulate on a street. I drove to go to um, San Francisco with my wife to meet Sister Vanessa and her son Q. We were on this street, Green Street. I remember this street. We were on this street. I, I don't know how else to explain this. And my wife was with me, and as we were leaving, a 3.7 earthquake started, hit in this area. So. It started with an earthquake here locally, and, and, and then now there's a second earthquake here. Now follow me. I'm gonna first what I'm gonna do is pan out. I'm gonna go down here. So here's the consulate right there in the middle of the screen. I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna show you. Look, babe. This is Chrissy Field over here somewhere. This is where I met Vanessa. Mm -hmm. Right here, the Palace of Fine Arts. You cannot make this stuff up. And Presidio is uh, down here. I mean, and then this is Chrissy Field over here. You just cannot make this stuff up. Because what the Lord had told me was that a lightning bolt would hit southeast Texas and it would turn into a sword and hit California. The lightning bolt has hit. It was a weather event, as I mentioned it would be, and it was Hurricane Harvey, and it was man-made. And what the Holy Spirit has revealed to me just yesterday was that the sword part of the vision, so the lightning bolt has hit, and here comes the sword, was violence. 
The sword represented violence. And I kid you not, I can show you articles. The very next day, I believe it was, we had three police officers shot here locally, didn't we, man? Yeah. And shut down an entire major intersection at a freeway. One of the sheriffs uh, perished, and, two, uh, and one of the CHP is still in the hospital, and the other one was out. Three police officers hit. I mean, it's literally a massive presence. That's the sword coming, is violence. I think a lot of people believe violence is going to start quelching and backing down as we end summer, and I'm telling you it's not. So let me go back to this consulate. Remember the Chinese consulate, the two satellites, the weather manipulation, the power outage, the earthquake. Now I want to go down here, and I'll just show you the consulate. This is it. Now remember, and I'm going to edit in a picture at the end. So please stay to the end and watch. You're going to see the flag on top of this building in my picture is at half mass. And I'll tell you why this is important. So look right down the street from the Russian consulate is the place. Can you see that, babe? That's the place where we visited with Vanessa. That's the place where they just canceled the peace rally. This is all after Hurricane Harvey has already hit, and I'm warning of this, the sword aspect of this now, violence and war. And you know how all this came about? There was an article yesterday that the, the, this Russian consulate right here yesterday was closed, and they were, they were kicked out by our administration. And, and they were also closed in Washington, D.C. and New York. So I, I could not believe when I saw that area. And I've shown this area just in the last week. God is showing us things. So if you look up here, there's a flag. See the flag? Matter of fact, let me, let me go over here to the side a little bit and you get a better view. There's a flag on top of this Russian consulate. Everybody see that flag right there? See it? So now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut in and edit. I have to get it off my cell phone. That flag is at half mass right now. Right now. So let, let me move on. And you're asking, well, what does all this mean? I'm going to show you. Here's the dream I showed you. An earthquake, two satellites, a bomber jet, and amazingly, looking up an earthquake, it takes me to South Korea and North Korea and Japan so now what the Holy Spirit is, is telling me that China is going to get involved and this was from five years ago so I got some videos up here is the same map okay so when the earthquake hit and the, the power outage and I'm measuring radiation which is a nuclear strike and my pastor said Chicago represented the world at that time because Obama, uh, it's symbolic, Obama uh, was president and he was from Chicago. And Pastor Larry said that this nuclear strike represented the world. Uh, I mean, it represented the United States. Because amazingly, when Kim Jong-un just recently started launching these missiles more and more, he said that they can now hit Chicago. Isn't that what he said? Chicago. So, this next video is from August 28, 2017. And it says, urgent immediate prayer request, Harvey, North Korea shoots over Japan. And here's the map that God showed me five years ago and said, watch this area. And the message here is you need to remember everything God has shown you because it can get overwhelming at times and, and declare that now. Because the things we we're showing back in 2012 are for right now. Right now. And it's all happening in this. And, and to add to it, today on September 1st, you know who makes a comment on my channel for the first time in months? Sister Vanessa. Just this morning. After months... Because the Holy Spirit is moving, the same sister who, who was uh, with us when we visited this area with my wife right here. She just happens to randomly comment this morning. No, nothing is random like that. So to put this in picture, perspective. 
August 30th, two days ago, I put 911 red flag will lead to false flag Saudi jets. Now, in this video, there are Saudi Arabian jets flying over Philly. The, this is representative of the, the Saudi jets because in this map, at one point, I show Saudi. Watch. So now this is going to take us. Is this easily to understand, my hood? Because I feel like it's overwhelming. In, 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 in this vision, it was Afghanistan, Pakistan, and the four horses right here. Istanbul, Turkey, Pakistan, Spain, and look, New York. What's the date on this? August 22nd, 2017. And this morning, so there's there's two things going on here. The weather event and more to come is this lightning bolt. And what the Holy Spirit had told me directly, man-made evil brings man-made destruction on April 3rd, 2016. And I'm just going to play a little bit of this. 50 foot. I'm going to show you the area where look, we went. We have pictures. Look, that is from 2016. It's the same exact area down the street from where the Russian consulate was just closed. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Is these man made actions are going to bring man made destruction exactly as God said. Pictures of this. Driving home a 3.7 earthquake hit. Now we're going forward to the warning. God told us to go there and pray against an earthquake, and then... Okay, just, just, I'm going to try to update this as much as possible. God told us to go meet Sister Vanessa, who just commented this morning after several months, after they closed the Russian consulate in the exact area of Presidio and Chrissy Field. Does everybody follow? It, it's, it makes sense to me, but I, it needs to make sense to you. In this thing, we're talking about the lightning bolt and the sword. In this vision, this listen, the lightning bolt has come to pass, Harvey. And I show the exact trajectory it'll take. And it turns into a sword. It comes to the exact area that, that God was telling me to watch five years ago to watch. I'm sharing this vision about the lightning bolt. So it started off as a lightning. This video right here is from a couple years ago that I'm screencasting much. So, and I'm showing you, I'll put the mouse right on Houston. And it turned into a sword. It was over a map of the United States and it began it's, right here. It's right on Houston, on the, look. The south, the uh, east side of Texas. And this lightning bolt right cracked here. in thunder. It's right on Houston. And Look, it started hitting. It actually goes through Houston. This is fulfilled. And what I'm urgently telling you is we're in September now. And the, the Holy Spirit has told me, beware September. And, and, and now he's revealing to me the exact location in California. And he's showing me the flags at half staff. And I'm going to show you that video. And it's all coming to place like boom. I mean, just like, boom, so fast. I mean, my head would spin if it wasn't for the Lord. Boom, this is happening. Fulfillment of prophecy, boom. Towards California, I went through New Mexico. Watch this. And Arizona, and Nevada, and through San Francisco, and Sacramento. Let me show you something. Through San Francisco again, I, I haven't even heard. It hit Sacramento, right where those three police officers were shot. One died the very next day. That is representing the sword aspect of this vision. See, God ain't going to give you a, a vision where only half of it comes to pass. We are now looking at the sword, the violence, and war aspect of this. Read this. I'm kind of in shock, but grace and peace unto us. Amen. So, let me continue. Please just... Show me some grace in making this. It's it's heavy on my heart and it's hard to do. I'm going to show you a series of things that happened that led to this. 
on August 22nd, 2017, the day after the, the great eclipse. I mean, these are signs. These are warning signs and omens from God. The eclipse and now the Revelation 12 sign coming. On the day of eclipse, President Trump came out and announced war. With who? Pakistan, of all places. The, the, the day that God showed me on this list right here, man. Pakistan. Pakistan and Spain and New York. And so one of the Russian consulates was in New York and Turkey. I'm telling you, this makes perfect sense to me. Here's, here's the lightning bolt hits. Harvey hits Houston. Here's the sword going across towards the west. Fighter jets and bombers. So Trump announced war and a, and a, a fatal 3.7 earthquake hit all on the day of the eclipse. I'm going to say it again. Trump announced war. God told me five years ago to watch these, these areas. Five years ago. And now this area is lobbing missiles over this exact map. That's the sword. And when the watchman sees what? The sword coming. Hold on. I'm seeing a sword and it's violence and war. This scripture was just now given to me in real time on 9-1-2017. It's Ezekiel 33. Again, the word of the Lord came unto me saying, Son of man, speak to the children of thy people and say unto them, When I bring a sword upon a land, if the people of the land take up man of their coats and set him for their watchmen, and when he, you just saw a coast where God said a sword's going to hit. If when he see the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people, then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet and taketh not warning if the sword come and take him away, his blood shall not be on his own head. That's why I make these videos. I don't know what else to say. I feel like I'm missing something. But just remember, it was Saudi. The reason why I mentioned Saudi Arabia, it was Saudi Arabian jets that were flying over us the other day. Four of them. And a refueler. Now, I need to tell you that I'm going to share a dream in the next video, and I was in tribulation. And the Holy Spirit has showed me that that dream was to go up as a warning and to be shared everywhere for people who miss the rapture. Not for me, for people who miss the rapture. The sword did hit. Now this part is happening from five years ago. More detail has been added. Daniel 11, I put. So, if anybody has any revelation on North Korea, South Korea, Japan, or China, and these missiles and swords from five years ago, let me know. The consulate part, I'm going to end this video. Just, just play it all back and pray over it. Pray over it, pray over it, and play it all back because only the Holy Spirit's going to show you everything that I just showed you from five years ago coming to pass to the exact geological location. And the sword is coming. And I'm sounding the alarm. I'll insert the picture now of the flags at half mass. That's what I was going to do. I knew I was missing something. Thank you, Jesus. I knew I was missing something. I need to show you the flags at half mast. This Russia was one of them. Here's Texas Lightning Bolt Harvey, and then it says prophetic sword coming to pass. And then announcement of war. And then these bloodlines, which I don't have time to focus on right now. The government planned EMP at the rapture. 
I heard the word trajectory. Act of war, Missouri, Spain. And North Korea, the primer to the bullet that goes bang. And then we're going to go down to these flags that have stuff. Here's the eclipse. It's right here. July 18, 2017, 7.03 a.m. Prophetic watchman warning. Flags at half mast from attacks and sudden military movement from two months ago. And look at the Google Earth map. I think it's New York. But here's the thing. Yeah. I mean, it mentions all the areas. Five years of prophetic prophecy coming to pass at such a escalated scale that I can barely even explain it properly. The flags are at half mast. And now the countries are being shown because the sword is about to hit. 